Hi, David Knott here from Pinnacle West. Today we're going to get Brandon, our tech guy, demonstrate on how to rebuild this Fusion Air Purge gun. To start, make sure your gun has been depressurized and the fluid valves are closed, then remove the fluid manifold from the gun body. Next step is going to be to remove the air cap and the side block seal retaining ring. Now we need to back the side block seals away from the mixing chamber slightly so that we can remove the, ma the main fluid body. This will expose the mixing chamber and allow us to do the rest of the disassembly on the fluid section of the gun. So the next step is going to be to remove the fluid uh, side block seals from the main fluid body. The side block seals are labeled, so there is an A side and a B side. Make sure that you do re, uh, reassemble in the same direction and also make sure that you don't cross over any of the components, O-rings, seals, springs, anything that uh, could cause the materials to cure inside of the gun. So you want to keep the A side separate from the B side so you don't run into any cross contamination. And now we'll continue on with removing the check valves and filters from the bottom of the gun. Now we'll continue on with the disassembly of the side block seal. To begin with, remove the side block seal from the side block seal housing and expose the spring and remove the spring from inside the side block seal housing. This is one area that you need to pay particular attention to as Crystallized isocyanates and debris can build up inside of the housing, so you want to make sure that that area is thoroughly clean. Before you soak in any of your metal gun parts and solvents, be sure to remove all the O-rings from the side block seal housing and the side block seal itself. There are three O-rings on the side block seal and housing that need to be removed. They are located here, here, and here. So the next step is going to be to disassemble the check valve and filter. So we'll start by sliding the filter off of the housing. And from there we can see the spring and check ball that's inside of the housing itself. So to remove the spring and check ball we need to unscrew the screw from the end of the housing. Just a flathead screwdriver is all that's needed. And be careful when this comes apart so that the spring and check ball does not fly out of your hand. There are two O-rings that need to be removed on the check valve housing prior to soaking any of the metal parts. They are located here and here. Before soaking the main fluid housing, there are three O-rings that need to be pulled out of this area. They are located here, here, 
And there is also one located underneath the air knife. Brandon will pull that apart now. And it is located here. Now we're going to remove the mixing chamber from the main gun body. And we'll also remove the air cap off the back of the motor, air motor on the gun body. This will allow us to push the main piston from the gun body itself. On the main piston, there are two O-rings that would need to be removed prior to soaking these parts. They are located here and here. And now we're going to remove the trigger piston from the gun body itself. It does require a one inch wrench to remove the main housing. Be careful, once you remove this, there is a spring inside here that you do not want to lose. And now we'll push the piston from the gun body itself. It does require a little bit of a small tool from, to be used from the front side just to push that back so that we can get it to pop up the back side. And located on this piston, there is three O-rings that would need to be removed prior to soaking the gun. They are located here, here, and here. The last thing we're gonna remove from the gun body is the uh, muffler out of the bottom of the handle. It requires a half inch wrench to remove this. The muffler can become clogged, so if you do find your gun having sluggish operation, a lot of the times this is where you can find the issue. So be sure to check that muffler and make sure that it is flowing freely. And other areas on the gun body we want to look at are going to be the air passageways in the gun handle itself. There are three air passageways that you need to look at and they are located here, here, and here. The two passageways in the back section that we're looking at now connect with air passageways down in the, the trigger area. So if those were blocked, you may find the gun will not operate or will operate sluggishly. Now that the gun has been completely disassembled, we can take all of our metal parts and soak them in solvent. We use a product called All Solve.